I want to talk to you briefly about this uh, Pine 64 unit that I got. You see this uh, update video? Uh, basically, it's been sitting on my desk for quite some time. And I've been trying to figure out how can I use this, you know, in a, in a way that it's actually going to be used. So the unit itself, obviously, as you can see from the intro, it's no bigger than you know, the size of a standard, I guess, hand, palm. Um, so one of the things that I liked when I had my Raspberry Pi was the fact that I could use it uh, to run, you know, ROMs and stuff like that. But also there was an ability to use it as a media streaming device. So basically you set it up and then you tell it, hey, you know what? I want you to play files from my media server, my computer, I want you to stream stuff. And that's kind of where we're at right now. So right now I have uh, Remix OS 2.0, I believe. And I went ahead and I installed Cody, also codenamed Jarvis. For those of you that don't know what Cody does, basically Cody says, okay, I'm gonna take all the movies you have and I'm gonna display them for you and you can watch them. So what this does is it allows you, I guess, basically, you know, if, if you're watching movies, grabbing movies or whatever, you don't have to constantly transfer them to a thumb drive. You don't have to worry about burning it to a disc uh, to make uh, a legal backup, quotation marks. Uh, basically, you can just throw all your data on your server if you have a SAN or a NAS and tell it, hey, you know what? I want you to go find the movies. So that's what I did. So here we have Total Recall. And I'll show you right now. You can pretty much see. Right now it's looking uh, you know, for the file. I want you to keep in mind that most of these file sizes are 20 gigs to 60 gigs. So they're extremely large. Now the fact that it can play it with almost little to no lag once the movie starts i guess playing that's pretty good because you're really not getting any lag you don't have to worry about anything else and you'll see here it just pretty much loads now i don't have a wireless chip installed on mine i don't have an antenna i opted not to get one just because you know if you're streaming stuff this big it's not going to work over wireless. Just hook it up to your LAN connection and be done with it. The reason I got this specific model, 2 gig model, is because I wanted more memory so it could run more stuff in the background without lagging. That's a really big issue. So here we can see I can just scrub through the movie, say, an hour or 10 minutes in, and it just does it like that. And this file size is about 42 gigs, and it's just scrubbing through it, no problem. So here you can see, I mean, it's pretty much playing flawlessly. And like I said, there, there's no lag. So you can go here, set up, set this all up. And, um, you know, I guess I just want to make a follow-up just to tell you guys, you know, if you're struggling, you don't know what you want to use it for. This is a really good way. I mean, prior to this, I had a home theater PC, an HT PC and it had a 600 watt power supply you know what's the point i was just using it to watch movies now i have this device that takes up little to no power and does everything i needed to do i mean to the point where i even added like music uh, if we go here to system let's see where's it at somewhere here we go so here you can see how much it's getting worked just to play this, you know, movie. And you can see memory usage is already at, at 700 megs. And I mean, the CPU is pretty much getting hammered. You, you can see it, you know, it's not quite topping out. It's, it's hovering around, well, we'll say what, 40, 50, 60%, 70%. I mean, so it, it's getting hammered, but it's still able to, play this without any issues and 
this is a huge selling point if you're trying to you know look at other things like I guess a Chromecast or a Amazon Kindle or a Amazon Fire Stick or something else I mean this has a lot more flexibility you know on top of that it's still an Android OS so we can still go here I can close this out say exit and I still can go to YouTube I still can go to Chrome I still can open up the Play Store with no issue at all and on top of that if I want to add a wireless card I can add a wireless card that's not, that's not a big issue I mean I can get another one of these put it in another section of the house put wireless and then just use it to stream YouTube and attach it to a TV or something so this is a really really good uh, selling point on it I did make a tutorial on how to install remix OS I'll go ahead and I'll link that in the video and uh, if you have any other questions feel free to comment make sure to like the video and subscribe helps me out and uh, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks.